We just broke the world record for the biggest Demon Slayer prize pool ever. $1,000 and it is by far the biggest prize pool that I have ever done personally. Right now it feels like Demon Slayer is over. No more DLC, probably no more balance patches and you know what happens when a game reaches that point? It slowly withers and dies. And I'm not about to let that happen, I'm gonna send it out with a bang in this final edition of Wanted. The current champion is Night Demon, he's waiting at the top for a challenger to take his spot. And challenging him will be the previous wanted champions Heliaster, Charismatic Evil and Fize, as well as Aruf who qualified from the final major tournament that happened over at the Demon Slayer competitive server. This whole event was live streamed on my streaming channel right here on YouTube. Click the link down below or search for Globcool Live and you will find it for sure. I've left Twitch, I'm a YouTube streamer now. And for each match I also invited a different commentator to make things extra special. So let's start with Aruf versus Heliaster. Picking Zenitsu as the main character, very interesting. Starting off with a both of them pairing as a, I guess, a sign of respect or something. Right, well, a sign of someone who has just logged into the Parsec server, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good attempt there, dodging out of the uh, way of the balls and trying to call Nezuko to get the hit, but very aware of Roof dodging out of the way. New Nezuko assist this time is the close and gonna get the hit, oh. but the parry is good. on point. That parry recovery is still so strong, Smoothie. <laughs> amazing parry, amazing parry. Low on the bar charge, but gets the hit, so now he's gonna regain some bar. Let's see this combo now. How much damage we're getting over here? Not a lot of damage, but Susa is the best keep away character, so even with the slitherest of health, Susa can keep you away for the most away, even for 90 seconds without her. You come. Good Excuse parry me. there. Very good parry there. Timing it perfectly for the last slash. And even though Nezuko was out of range, that does give Susama to a little bit of meter. But finally, Nezuko finding the hit, and it's gonna be Helios' first big combo. I mean, it's a red combo, so not a big deal, but Zenitsu deals enough damage to make it significant, even in that short amount of time. The, that prime combo is deals 50%, even if it's a red combo. That's amazing neutral demon skill. Gets the head, again gets the hit. A lot of damage on Earth side. Comfortable health lead, good bar lead, and ready gets the first round. Yeah, Helia struggling to get in. A roof playing very good neutral, very good keep away. The strong attack switch tech that is gonna be something that we're gonna see a lot in this matchup because it's such a strong tool especially if you are in the mid to close distance. But if a roof keeps his distance like that, it's gonna keep denying that tool perfectly. And Indeed. more zoning. Good and, switch uh, once again. Aruf knows that and he's keeping his distance away. Good awareness by Aruf on that. He needs to stay at a very long range unless the, he doesn't want to get hit by the heavy. So very good distancing. Oh my, what is that tracking? What, where is that DP going? Good hit, amazing damage. Yeah, it that is. caught the parry from Helia because he was expecting a full dash to go in, but a roof canceling the dash into one of her projectiles. Yes. And that denied it completely. Another parry just punished from oh. Helia. That one might have been a missing put. Yes. Uh, I don't know about that surge call. That was a very bad surge call. He had a very comfortable health lead, but he surged for no reason, but. I, I shouldn't be speaking. I'm not in here. I is in here. Maybe he knows something we don't. What a great jab to catch him. Holy. Great catch by Hilia. Gets the combo. Finally, the first combo by Hilia. First yellow combo to see. Oh, him. If only Zenitsu healed some uh, health back with uh, with that boost. That ends up being uh, a wasted yeah. bar. Secured the second round for our roof. Our roof looking very, very good. Looking. Looks like Hilia's washed. He can't get in. He's really not being able to get in. Uh, but also that tells us that Aruf is a very good, great player by keeping the distance away and not letting him get in. Very good combo by Aruf. Gets a lot of damage. Comfortable health lead. Go still goes in. Great mix up there. All right, and the match continues. 50% health and uh, just half a bar to go to guarantee this first game for Aruf. Helia can escape, but chooses not to do so. Waits for that drop and good blocks. Tries to get in with that jab. Does not do it, but the raw dash from a roof is gonna catch him. And this is gonna be damage. The escape is gone already. No ult! Oh. No ult! Oh, oh and an ult would do it. GG's. No! Wait, oh my goodness! No ult! What is this? I've said it before and I'll say it again. Demon Slayer players need to realize how valuable ults are for finishing up fights. Indeed, uh, one HP is still enough to make a comeback. Never mind, he just searched and said, fuck this, I'm getting this match. It's over. Red guard, very oh! low. Oh, what a good old, good roll, but it's, uh, I don't think it's gonna be helpful here. 
one it HP. Is, it is a very good call. It is was the perfect timing, and it's the best thing Healy could do right now to yes. stay alive. This comeback Indeed. is going to be crazy if it happens. If it doesn't, hey, you give it your best shot. Exactly. Guard break well, and GGs. Susa versus Akaza. We've seen this, we've seen this a lot of times, and uh, it really depends on who's the better player here to win this matchup. Because uh, I think it's a 5-5, five, five, and uh, this goes uh, both ways. So Ooh. whoever is the better player, great catch by Hillier right there. Great job. Good keep away. A question oh. is, does a roof have a counter to Akaza? Because oh, now is Hillier is on the back foot in terms of matches. So a roof will be able to switch one more time than Hillier will if they keep playing the, the counter picks. Yes. I don't think there's really a counter pick to Akaza other than Akaza himself. <laughs> Oh. We've seen you good still. results from uh, a couple of characters. Uh, I think Nezuko Murata oh. is uh, obviously a very good one. Helia popularized that counter pick against Akaza. Uh, I think uh, against Susamaru, the team that Helia picked isn't bad. I do think we've seen more success with Entertainment District uh, Zenitsu together oh. with Tengen. That assist is so stupid. I <laughs> can't fathom enough how Oof. stupid. Oh, we're just fair. raw, just <laughs> raw annihilation, huh? Raw, I should no, no, no fear. That's how you know Hilly has no fear. Just raw annihilation. Good death. Oh, Good oh. that Great one was close range. That one was close range. So yes, I understand. And trying to boost there to get his meter back gets hit by one of the balls, but he's gonna heal. The good confirm. 13 seconds on the clock. Yeah. Gonna keep the distance away. I wouldn't be keeping it, honestly. I would try to get in as fast as possible in the rounds. Oh, great head. Gets the, gets the combo. Interesting combo. Tries not to do any... Okay, I was gonna say he's not trying to do any, like, uh, very punishable move. So, or if doesn't sub, but he just did a compass, which just eliminated my... What the f What? What was the hit? I don't know if she just hit him there. I'm so confused. Alright. Moving on. Oh, Zen. Zero bars for a roof. And on the disadvantage with bar and on the health lead. Tries to go. Gets the hit and no subs for both characters. Boost! Oh, gets the hit. Second round for Hilya. That's amazing. Showing us why his Akaza is just one of the best in the world. Raw Annihilation <laughs> full screen. Let's go. That's oh a reset. My God. That's a punish. Oh, that is indeed a punish. Those Great raw timing. annihilations. Great just... timing on uh, on that escape from a roof. Catching the compass Needs. recovery. A lot of damage. A roof has the health lead with a bar lead. It is the rounds. Great grab. Oh my God. That makes up crazy. Great grab by Aruf there. Gets the hit. Trying to deny as much healing as he can. Gets the hit again. No, no sub for Aruf. Is he going to surge or is he going to... Oh, he is going to surge to guarantee that round. That is very smart. Very smart by Aruf. But is he really truly going to guarantee that round? Never Oof. mind. He is. <laughs> it's a defensive surge. It's something that puts you at a disadvantage for the next round for sure. Because you lose the meter lead. But you sometimes just have to do it. Because otherwise you just lose 3-0. Oh, what a dash. Indeed. He, he just did not want to do through. Oh, indeed, what a great dash. Gets the catch. Gets the health lead. Three bars on Hilia's side. Tries to go for a reset. A mix up. He, a roof Ooh. knows that. Reset. Oh, ho, ho. great air type. He spends the bar. Goes for yeah. annihilation. Hello. Oh, oh, that is geez. not a punish. I don't think so. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh. He should have waited a little bit longer uh, until he was actually blocking the piercing kick. Yes. Uh, he, he used the online timing there. Mm hmm. Oh. Tries to grab, no punish on the grab, tries to ball away, bad DP, oh wait, never mind, that DP doesn't get punished, raw till demon skill from a roof. What? Ooh. Okay. Whoa. Okay, okay, right in GG. her face. She just ate those air types. This puts a lot more pressure on these players, but let's see who takes it. 1-1, one, one, starts the match with air type because that's the best move to start out. Another air type catches him. Gets the first hit. Aruf is either going to have to sub or he's going to take this. I think he's going to take this. Yeah, oh, he's he going to take it. But uh, as you can see, Aruf counterpicking with the exact team that I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. The Murata Nezuko. And Helia knows how strong this team is against Akaza. 
Yes. So let's see if Aruf can play the counter the counter pick well. So far, yeah. that's so much damage. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of damage. But great jab by Aruf earlier to catch him. Great hit by Hilia to get him. No subs. That's full damage. He's going to collapse and he's going to boost. Or? Oh, tries to disorder sort of good. Oh, that heal bash just catches him. He says, nope, you're going right back to the ground. Heal Air bash has been good since day one. And Indeed. it's still incredible. Yes. Amazing, amazing skill. One of the best skills in the game. Tries to get in. Is having a very hard time. He's not using the water wheel. He's spamming that assist. He wants that assist to come out. Raw annihilation. Good annihilation. Gets the round. 1-0. Looks like he's on the bar advantage. He's soon building up his second bar. And Hilia's still on his half bar. All right. And we go back to neutral. Great parries. <laughs> and catches them both. And because he parried the assist first. And then the character. There's no reduced hit stun there. Because sometimes mm -hmm. when it's the other way around, you parry the character first and then the assist, the character just recovers. Yes, that was um, newly added. Whoa. That was okay. newly discovered. I don't know if that was newly added. It, it was newly added. We, we used to like just parry the support and uh, the character. And uh, you used to just get the hit normally. But now it's, it's changed. Uh, I don't know what uh, part of the change. Maybe it was a bug. Maybe it was not. It seems like uh, they're Ooh. really just... Oh, what a great parry. Good reaction type for Hillier, noticing he's gonna heal bash. Good good pressure here. Red guard. Good jab. This is gonna secure the round or not. Let's see. Oh, he gets hit! Doesn't know, but Trust the Compass gets the hit again. He's gonna have to stop. This is a lot of them. Please stop, please stop, please stop. Oh, oh he missed the throw, but it doesn't matter. He gets the hit again. That worked out in our favor. Because if Hillier got that sub there, he would have gotten a heal advantage. Two bars. Two bars on Hillier's side. This looks very bad for our roof. Gets the, uh, the tie on the round, but. Really, really looks bad. Zero bars for Hilia. Yeah, but the pressure continues and Hilia is the one that finds the hit. No bars left. Will he spend uh, the Annihilation and the Collapse? No, just goes for two Annihilations. Much safer in case he decides to escape. Goes for a boost, but that doesn't deny the two hit strong attack from Nezuko. Yes. Deny the first one, but not the second. Gets the hit and he's gonna sub. I would sub. Yeah, nice. Earth subs. Gets the boost bars. Boost directly this looks very bad that's a parry is it oh <laughs> <laughs> that was buttons <laughs> yeah that was just buttons doesn't even need the parry subs tries to heavy attack just to get away from this pressure what a heal bash great heal bash brace yourself goes in this is the grab still was able to guard because the surge not tries to jab again at the Ooh. disorder doesn't work hill is doing very good telling yeah. us he is not washed Hilia might try to close it out right here instead of just playing it safe and building bar. He might close it out with boost alone, not Ooh. even building the surge. Immediately subs. Ooh, Doesn't maybe even not, maybe not, because this did not start in his favor. So that's a yeah. big comeback for him to do now. Maybe he'll just try Ooh. to build as much bar as possible, but great reset attempt from a roof. Indeed. Try to reset, try to kill him directly to not give him that chance to just build a bar from him. Good parry! Red, Red guard. guard, this is very bad. This is very bad for Elia. One yeah. more dash and his guard is gone. Yeah, oh, and there, there it is. There, that's round. Optimizing a roof, dealing the fast damage instead of the long combo that deals the most yes. damage. Uh, you just wanted to deal the damage fast. Very good bar awareness. Gets the hit on that sets right there. Oh my god, a type. Proving they're Oof. really... Oh, that's a hit. Two bars for Helia. I think here Hilly doesn't want to let Aruf hit him because he doesn't want to let him build. Oh, there you go. That's two yeah. bars. Beautiful. Ah. He built the second bar. He's ready to surge. Annihilation oh. and surges Wait. and parry now. Parry? What? What is the parry? Okay. Oh, wait, where's just... the grab? Wait. He blocked the heavy, but Aruf could use switch tech there. Yeah. I'm surprised uh, he got punished, but now tries to outrun Akaza. While, uh, while in Surge, he does armor through a couple of attacks. Could have been worse. Great assist Good. call, but misses it. Great Good dodge, dodge yeah. yeah. It was just yeah. an air dodge from Helia. Yeah. Now the guard is orange on uh, Helia's side. Red Very now. Are we going to see another? No, he gets Ooh. the hit. And Helia turns the score around. It is 2-1. to one. The counter pick did not work. Well, let's see how this... Counter pick works out. So far, Haley is on the lead with 2-1. Great parry. Yeah, parries the assist. Gets some meter for it. 
And now Pain playing a bit more defensively. Gets the hit, tries to confirm with the Sworder, but the second air type hit the assist and not Nezuko, so Aruf is able to block. Annihilation to counter the heal bash, but the oh. combo is dropped. Tries to Annihilation in a panic. What a parry! What a sequence of attacks. Everything is going Helios way right now. Yes. Uh, Oof. I don't know. Oh. I don't know what happened there in the sequence of attacks, but somehow Helio was able to decipher everything and got that parry off. And gets the hit, gets the health lead. Very comfortable bar lead. Guard break, no no sub for Helio. This is gonna be a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. And Aruf's gonna build up his first bar. Yeah, Aruf optimizing. He did start with a dash, uh, which is the only thing that wasn't optimal about that combo. Everything else, pretty good optimization. Gets the hits, does not confirm. Gets Another the hits again. Hit. Hello. Ooh, GG's. That's it. That's what we like to see. I think it was the correct call because if Hilyaster would have subbed and boosted, that would have been all the HP back and we would have had the lead. It would have been, uh, had a lot of longer. Oh, ho, ho. what yeah. a great jump attack by a roof to catch it. Helia was honestly on the verge of building the surge bar during that first round. Yes. Uh, very good parries from Helia on those first round and uh, very good hair gets the health lead again. No sub bar though. Gets has a bar. Maybe he'll annihilation this. Let's see. No sub bar on a roof, but he has an SS bar. Great catch, great jab. And gonna do the most optimal combo here. Never mind. Oh, tries for a reset. Doesn't work. Tries to parry, doesn't work. Gets the hit. That's a lot of damage on our roof side. That's gonna be healthy for a roof. Tries the reset, doesn't work. Boost to get everything in neutral back. Oh, he keeps the assist there. And Ooh. all the whiffed guard skill. That is gonna be death for Nezuko here, and he doesn't even have to make a complicated combo. Spends like one what? bar, still an even bar with a with a roof. That's how much meter Healy has been building. Yes, those pairs have been coming in clutch, really. What a hit. That's yeah. why I don't like Zenitsu assist. If that was Morai right there, you would have survived. But that's going to be a lot of damage. Well, not a lot, but enough to make uh, Kaza oh. comfortable. What a <laughs> okay. parry by Healy. I Showing... can't believe she was in range. Yeah, not for to... sure she wasn't going to get hit. Gets the hit, doesn't confirm. That's oh! a hit, what a great air catch. That's an optimal, that's an optimal yeah. starter. Starting great with jumping awareness. attacks is Ooh. insane. And now hello, surge, and guess who's oh, in the air? Boom. Oh, that's a hit, no sub bar. Is Hilia gonna surge? Are you gonna see a surge back? No. Not Wait. yet, he's uh, yeah. biding his time. Like he wants the surge to be all his and he doesn't want to battle Nezuko while well in surge because he has the option not to. But actually, he might just save the bar. Yeah, A is, is looking caught. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> he just showed us we were both wrong. Goes for eight types. He's gonna mix up. Very good mix up here by a couple of search. Gets the head. He's gonna have to sub. Or if he's gonna have to sub. There you go. Yeah. Are we gonna see a grab to end this search? Or are we gonna not? Never mind. Uh, yeah, a roof there up. risking the parry and got caught by an air type. And that is gonna cost him the round right here. Even if he did survive the surge, that was enough to put him at a disadvantage. And Helia, one round away from getting an even bigger lead. Really amazing uh, comeback oh. by Helio. Oh my god. What? These pairs are going crazy. No, oh, Helio, like. Damn. Those pairs have been on point every single parry. Building up that bar is soon on the second bar. Helio looks very, very comfortable to take this round. I think we're gonna see this round gonna be at the end for this match. I don't think Gorf has a, has a chance here. Oh, tries to parry. He misses the parry. Oh, oh out of compass. I think this is match. This Get anti-aired by the compass. You Ooh. either ult or collapse. There we have it. Yeah, uh, I think the character select uh, or character switch is very smart to to use other than the stage. But well, we'll see. Hell yeah, already getting the first hit. Collapse. Oh. Yeah, that's like the unpredictable collapse we call it because by putting it so early in the combo, the opponent isn't expecting it, so they're not going to sub out of it and uh, and punish you for doing collapse. It's the so, head. That's gonna be. Oh. Yeah. While well, while characters have uh, have escapes, uh, that's uh, a common u commonly used tactic by Akaza mains. But that's a beautiful parry that could lead to a lot of damage. So good escape there from Helia. I think that's the right call. Oh, it's the head again. That's gonna be healthy for a roof showing. Maybe Sus is the correct uh, counter pick. Maybe not boost. Very early push show uh, showing that a roof is very nervous right now. Really, really nervous. Oh, I guess they had never mind confirming that tilt skill gets the first round. Looks very comfortable for Aruf. Okay, some zoning and the push block punish from Helia. If he starts landing these, it starts being very scary for any Susama domain. Because suddenly they lose piercing kick. They just can't mm -hmm. do it. Indeed. Gets the 
very very comfortable healthy right here with uh, with Hilia, but he doesn't have a sub bar. Gets the hit. Never mind. I think this is round. He's is he can ult? I would ult. Honestly, I never mean, mind. Does it go for the ult? I mean, it's not game oh. over yet, so I respect that. For never as much mind. as I say, yo, use your ults to finish the fight. If you got two bars on deck and you still have another round to fight, especially if you're losing the encounter, then you need that meter yeah. to come back. You need that meter for future yeah. rounds. Yeah, but Helia chose the smart play, not all, and still got the round. Amazing. This Spend it all. Spend it yeah. all. Pull and boost. Back fifty percent. Yeah. Oh, air types the, the boost. boost. Mm. I don't know. That's a lot of bar waste. Oh my! Oh no! Punish! Oh, oh no! <laughs> punish! No punish! Actually, a roof did not block after within the ground. Did not? No. Oh, wait, yeah, he walked. <laughs> it comes down to this. Helia could take it all right here. Gets the hit. That, that's very good. Subs already. Gets the hit again. That's gonna be a lot of damage. Puts Helia at a very, very good, comfortable athlete. And I think a roof is gonna directly. Oh wait! Good awareness that the combo is gonna end and not collapsing. Very, very good awareness. Good Full annihilation. <laughs> Waste to stop again. Boost directly. These draw annihilations are crazy. Oh! He's in a combo. Oh, He's in a combo. So where do we go? Damage. We optimize it's as up, much up, as we up, can. Up, but up, yeah. up, up, up. No. That's so much damage. No, but the, a lot of that combo timer was already gone. So Helia chose to take it. And he's going to surge next. Boom! Stop. Punish! Oh, that's GG! Actually, you, you have an has escape. You have an sub. escape yeah, still. Yeah, he has an escape. Oh, GG! GG's! That is... Match! Wait, what? Uh, what is this route? Doesn't oh. matter! <laughs> Helia with a 4-1 victory! We're gonna find out who is going to play against Helia up next uh, in its uh, match between Charismatic and Fize. And we got the first stage random. We're going into the final selection exam forest. Oh my goodness. Already going in with the air tops and the clutch parry. Would you look at that right away? Push block parry. Let's go. We ain't just doing that. Okay. We're just doing that. Ooh. Yo, do you see that guard? The dashes are coming in. Akaza with a <laughs> super fast no free dash speed, but no. Face said, hold up. Let me press buttons. What's up? Face just unfazed by the red guard he had and waited for the perfect moment to counterattack. Oh my goodness, Annihilation. He knew the guard break was close and he's like, I gotta counter somehow. And he used the only meter he had. That is crazy, but Charismatic, he is working on that guard. Hold up. Hold up. Air types, air types. Oh Nash coming in. Oh. The, oh. Ooh. The compass reset for the god break. He is a genius. He is a genius, Grub Cool. I'm sorry. That was practically guaranteed. I don't know about this combo, though. That's a weird starter for after the guard break. Feels like it could have gotten better, but hey. What do I know about Akaza? Yeah, Charismatic has always been kind of interesting about his combo choices. He does some very, very interesting route. <laughs> that is for sure. Yeah, and we see uh, Charismatic trying to get in with a big health lead and 25 seconds to go. That is very uncharacteristic. Well, he stops that approach from Fize. This is my zone. You cannot get into my zone or you will get compassed into death. And I feel like Fize getting a little bit impatient. He's trying to mix with the grab, but Charismatic absolutely ready. And he's going to confirm that. Look at that. We're doing the flash punch, the retro <laughs> flash punch. Oh, my goodness. Back to and flash punch. Love show. it. Love it. Oh, I missed you. <laughs> I missed you, Shadow Pier. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. It's been too long. I had to say it for the one time. But Charismatic, meanwhile, look at that. He is confirming those combos. Yes, for the one time. 2-0. And Bar's actually looking relatively even. He's definitely going to build a second bar in this round. The grab is dodged again. Yo, he's on point with those. Good punish there from Fize. Stopping that chase perfectly with a well-timed button. And goes reset. for a reset. Well, the reset attempt was non-existent. He knew Charismatic was going to match, so he had to block there. When mm -hmm. that happens, a reset is maybe not the, the best option you have. Or yeah, maybe it's just download, you know? Maybe next time he goes, well, I'm going to reset you into Annihilation. Beautiful Annihilation, speaking of. Yep. Annihilation coming in. Face also sitting at free bars. I'm pretty sure he has this round on lock. Annihilation again. That was clutch. He actually Annihilation the dash, but at the same time, Charismatic was able to block still. Ooh, the dropped? reset? What? Uh, yeah, it's a drop. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, I'm not sure if that's a reset or a drop, but I think it was a drop. It does look like it, but the zoning battle continues, and this time the health lead is on Fiza's side, so Charismatic has to take initiative here. Okay, yeah, good. something which is very rare. Charismatic probably still the most passive Akaza, but he has been upgrading on his offense, like 
the baiting he does. Oh my god, that bait on the on the boost was beautiful. Does he try to close it out here with one less bar than Fies? Does he go for the surge? Yes, he does. He wants to end it right here, but Fies counter surges and makes this much harder and gets the hit, but no combo. Oh, Faze, I think he's just gonna hang back. No, he's looking for the surge battle. And no, okay. Sage is not Faze is not looking for the surge battle. He's looking for the timeout, 100%. Gets and he hits. is gonna get it. Three seconds, two, Ooh. one, and Alation gonna connect, collapse just for right. the sauce. Would an ult give him the health lead there? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. But Bar is looking even though, so even though Charismatic is leading, it's not looking too bad for FaZe. Okay, we just right. dashing, dashing right. in the nooch, but no gets clipped. That is such a mind game. Basically just pressing against those dash cancels and then fishing for the hit, and it worked out perfectly. Oh my god, FaZe just being ultra aggressive right now. What a parry. Oh my goodness, that was beautiful in the heat of the aggression and bringing out a parry like that. That is super clutch. These are two players that know each other. FaZe knew that Charismatic wanted to match there. Yo. And so he parried. And Charismatic is probably now thinking of playing the long game. Building bar, going with bar advantage into the final game. That's probably oh. what he's thinking, but FaZe is not giving it to him. This is why I love a cars of mirrors. Just like that, FaZe bringing it back. He even has the bar advantage now. It can turn around so quickly on you. And Charismatic, he is definitely looking to chill a little bit right now. He's just waving, waving, moving, trying to mash, but no. And that was a beautiful push block jab. Okay, okay. The bo both boost at the same time, but now... The Akaza that surges second will have the advantage. So you definitely yeah. want to survive this onslaught and not use your escape. The escape comes out for Charismatic and uses the surge first. There is a red guard though. There is a red guard right there. What a parry! Ace has been on point, able oh, to push block these air types straight into this order. And oh. right now he's gonna boost himself. This is gonna be a surge battle. Oh! Gonna come out, but no, it doesn't matter! Look Parry the damage, compass. Yo. Parry the compass, man. God, why does that not work? Come on. <laughs> he needs it. He needs it. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> okay, search is over. We're back to the nooch, but these two are just going at it. Swinging, swinging, and charismatic. He's going to get the last hit. If he doesn't drop it, that is definitely a kill. Jeez. And first match, collapse, clean 1-0 for charismatic. It's like we said, he's more of a passive player usually, so maybe he thinks he just wants to slow it down. And, but and that was a it, very no. intense match. A lot of back and forth. Like, I'm sure charismatic was through all kinds of emotions during that game. Having a 2-0 lead, thinking I have it in the bag, and then Fai's coming back and having meter advantage going into the final round like yeah. charismatic thinking he dropped the ball and then coming back again uh yeah. taking the first game yeah that is what's crazy about these akaza mirrors like i said they can just turn so quickly and you have to be ready but right now charismatic bringing it back even though face had the lead a second ago the reset beautiful <laughs> okay charismatic gets the health lead and he's gonna keep that combo simple. He spent everything to make that combo happen, and now he has to play a bit more defensively, waiting for his resources to come back. Yeah, he's doing a beautiful job right now, playing passive, waiting for his bots to regen oh. and the annihilation. Okay, 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 okay. Throw the projectiles, keep that health lead, the red guard, mm. and now Charismatic trying to be a bit more aggressive. And Fies actually forces him to use that bar. Yeah, that could definitely be a factor. Bar is so, so important in these mirrors. The amount of reach in Akaza hash just makes it so important. But right now, Charismatic air typing away, and the parry is baited. He recognizes that Fies has been parrying, push block parrying those into the disorder, so he waits this time. Beautiful. Yeah, layers upon layers from two players that know each other really well. Red guard on phase, about to be red guard on Charismatic 2. Beautiful Annihilation, and yeah, Annihilation into parry. This time, Charismatic catches it. Just as you were saying, he has downloaded that information. That is a risky compass and good block from Fize. He's gonna get a full punish out of this. Yeah, I was thinking it was actually going to go up break. I think Charismatic was banking on that as well, but just short of it. And right now, FaZe is just going in. If you ask me, I feel like FaZe and this matchup is definitely the better cause on offense. I don't know how you feel. Um, 
but it kind of seems that way to me. That is also true. Well, let's just say FaZe might be better at rushing, but Charismatic is definitely holding the fort down right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, if we talk about chasing purely, I, I, I'd say maybe FaZe will take the cake on that. Yeah, exactly. But Charismatic right now, he's showing that it doesn't matter. He is Charismatic Evil here to play the game. And he's going at it. The dash is going to connect. That was almost a confirm, but face with the beautiful push block jab, man. You love to see it. That is the sign of a top player, having those down. All right, the disorder coming through. And the reset attempt from Charismatic into another disorder gets denied. And now there's a surge. He gets the hit. Oh, that was a bad escape. So he got maybe collapse or annihilation from it. But also interrupted right at the start of that. The sword are very unlucky for Faison. That cost him the round. That is, oh, that is tough to see. It really yeah, hurts that was actually like that. crazy. But this movement from Charismatic was also crazy. He just moved away from that grab, clean punish. But right now, Face bringing it back. No Charismatic, trying to get the full combo going. Interesting combo choice. He's gonna confirm that though. The reset. Oh, face pressing buttons, but no, we're going back to the nooch right now. Projectiles being thrown and the dash, man, the dash is so fast. I love these little free dash buffs they gave him. Oh. I know people pick it, but... That's oh. a beautiful jab there from FaZe. He's going to start the combo. No escape here from uh, Charismatic. He's going to take that full damage and the health is about equal right now. Yeah, health is looking about equal, but face on those free bars, if he wants to, he can definitely start spending them, especially on Surge, he might be able to close it out, but will he do it? Right yeah, now, we're just playing. He's, he's thinking of, uh, of round 5, you know? He's thinking of round 5, he wants to keep that bar advantage for sure, and right now, he has no reason to spend it. Well, he might have to escape and boost right now. I was about to say, he it? might have it now, wow. but no, he's playing patient, I respect it, I actually respect it. I mean, force, force that escape, right? You gotta force that escape sometimes. Yeah, top players recently have really started, you know, just dropping combos on purpose to bait escapes and stuff, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. Uh, by the way, fun fact, these two just played this weekend uh, in uh, in Grand Finals, uh, and uh, it was Fize coming in from losers and beating Charismatic twice. Yo, that is actually crazy. But you can definitely tell that these two play a lot together, that is for sure. <clears throat> Yeah, and FaZe actually had, uh, Charismatic actually forced him to use the surge, so right now Charismatic is on buy advantage, which is huge in this mirror. Okay. We got another round 5 match here. Yeah. It's gonna be every single one of these. This is so close, the skill of these players is so, so close to each other. Yeah, these what two are definitely training partners and the Ooh. Annihilation gonna connect, Charismatic forced to sub. But he's still going at it. I mean, he does have the option to surge and he is going to take it. He sees the yellow guard. He wants to close it out right now. And that guard is looking red. Oh, he's boosted, but it doesn't matter. That guard is still break. looking red. The compass. Ah, 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 ah. The that surge is, is going to end. And collapse. It Beautiful. is enough, though. Okay, okay. Well, let's see. All I know is Charismatic up to all right now. So FaZe has to do something. But right now, he's being forced to sub out. Out he goes. The grab. Mm. That is actually the first grab he connects. Smart. And it's been trying though. It wasn't for lack of trying, but Charismatic's been on top of it. Yeah, so this might be a sign that FaZe is continuing to download Charismatic. And getting the, the power up on the stage. Yes, sir. But right now we're just moving, dash cancelling, trying to get in. And that oh, beautiful hit come from on the dash. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh, that is good damage. That is very good damage on FaZe. Charismatic with the health lead, he already has that bar built. He's chilling for sure. Mm -hmm. And a lot of dashes, a lot of fake outs. Some of them are connecting with guards, but nothing yeah, significant yet guard. except for that. Red oh. guard, I can't believe he let go. I Yo. can't believe he let go. Yo, he tried to fancy combo with the forward jab. Nice. Oh, what a throw. Charismatic with the mind games. I feel like this is what Charismatic really excels at. During long sets, this man just has some of the best mind games in the biz. 
Oh, beautiful push block jab. And Chari Charismatic, man, he's just got to figure it figured out. Even though FaZe is pressuring him so much, he's just finding the holes in the offense and the confirms that was yeah. optimal. And this is what he does. Like, he lets FaZe play the neutral and he's just counterplaying every time. He's jabbing when he gets close or throws an air type just to stop him in his tracks or compass. And that's where yeah. he excels at. Exactly. That is really what Charismatic has been doing for, like, I don't know, months now. And he's just so good at it. I feel like he's mastered this play style for sure. All right, the escape and the boost to deny that chase down. And there's a red guard over there on Faiza's mm. side. So excellent parry. He didn't have many other options other than parry. So escaping the, the guard break perfectly. Now gets guard broken. And of course, oh. has the escape. So Charismatic is going to chase him. That was a dangerous dash for sure. And wow. Oh. Wow, that was such an unfortunate combo drop. He had the perfect play, baited him to sub, and then he annihilation on accident. Exactly. That would have been perfect. The annihilation on accident really almost screwed Charismatic there. Unfortunate drop. Yeah, Ran out phase, phase, going phase in. dropping in. Or, 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 is, that's not a, a thing you see every day. Just don't see this man dropping combos. Another throw. Phase's throws are working this time around. Yeah, we definitely upgrading the mind games. Throw being a factor right now. And Phase with the dash. Straight up one to one. One round apiece. Is this going to be another round five game? <laughs> I feel like it's going to be another round five game. This is just how Cosmeros go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, beautiful heavy, beautiful push block, and the punish is there, but the escape was also available, and Feist keeps up the pressure. Charismatic gets in with a surprise dash, though. Yeah, Face isn't ready. Honestly, he, isn't, he just isn't ready for Charismatic <laughs> to turn the title around, and that parry was so risky. It was a guess and a half on that reset. He thought, you're gonna mash here, you're gonna disorder me. Nah. Would have been huge left energy right there, but no, the dash is going to connect anyway, and he's going to be forced to sub. Yo, the speed on these two, the camera isn't keeping up. <laughs> the movement is insane. The air dashes, the jumping. Like you said, the camera couldn't even keep up with that. Exactly. Is he going to close it out? No. He could with an ult, but he chose not to. See, I would. I, I don't know if I wouldn't. I, I would have ulted there, man. Kind of feel yeah. the same. He was close to two bars, so before building those two bars, he would have had the old down and then got another bar next round and stuff. Yeah. I don't know. It, it was a way to guarantee it, but we're talking about Charismatic, who is just excellent at keeping his distance. Yeah, excellent job from Charismatic. I mean, he can definitely keep his cool in the heat of the moment. He has been showing that, and it pays off. I mean, he has the same bars as uh, his uh -oh. face right now. Whiffed grab and FaZe is gonna take advantage of it. Spending Charismatic's escape. Gets the hit, confirm it! No confirms. Yeah, he was just pressing those air types. Definitely wanted to confirm into this order, but it was too late. But the grabs got connect anyway. FaZe has been hitting them grabs now. Oh, I didn't have the bar to confirm into this order, but I thought he would dash cancel that. Oh, you're right, you're right, my bad, my bad, mm -hmm. you're right. Well, the bars are now back in play. Charismatic is going to have enough to escape this, and he does it immediately as soon as he has the meter, but he gets hit here, and there is no escape anymore. This is going to be death. Yeah, here we go. Let's see if Charismatic can keep us cool again and not play face on his offense. But right now, face forcing the sub, but Charismatic right back at him. These two are just straight in blows, straight up. Okay, A nice curses. confirm. Oh, there's going to be some good damage. Both looking at three bars, though. There's basically a second health bar at this point. Yeah, but this is such a big lead for uh, for Charismatic that even if FaZe heals all the way, he's going to have to spend bar way sooner than Charismatic will. So Charismatic is just kind of on top of his game right here, and he gets another hit into the throw. My god, FaZe has to spend so much bar to get his health lead back. Yeah. Face definitely has to do something. That was I, super. <laughs> these yo, dashes, dash. though, they are they are dashing into each other, while yeah. surge is a possibility. And like charismatic had no subs, he had no escapes. He's just playing with fire there. I cannot believe Face did not take it. Yeah, that was interesting. Face definitely looking to get the hit. Oh, he doesn't have the bot to try and compass for the anti air. Oh, he's just jabbing at him. That okay. is beautiful. Charismatic though, surging, oh. chilling, chilling. Okay, okay. Yeah, I thought I thought he was waiting for something specific to surge and punish, but he didn't oh. go for it. Did he block? Oh. I don't think oh, so. Oh, he tries oh. to jump away and great compass. Yeah, fantastic compass. And he is on the offense right now. Let's see, can he open him up? 
Working on that guard, working on that guard. Sadly, Akaza doesn't do too much guard damage, so Charismatic definitely just went out alive on that. Uh oh, and the health lead is suddenly on Faze's side. And oh, Charismatic, shit. who was so comfortable, he spent the bar too soon. He spent oh. it before Faze did, and now he lost the health lead with only five seconds left on the clock. Do something! Oh, the time oh one hit! And oh, time is what? up, and Charismatic wins! Goodness, y'all y'all can't hate on these Akaza mirrors. This is hype. Come on. <laughs> a quick breather, quick breather. This is perfectly legal if you pause right at the start of the match. What, 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 what? H hang on. Fize is winning? Are you telling me I had the name swapped the whole time? Oh, no. <laughs> it was Charismatic after a while, indeed. Okay, potentially final game. Let's see it. Faze bringing it in again. Getting the first hit. Charismatic trying to bring it back. Okay, we're dashing, we're dashing. God is yellow, but it doesn't matter. We're subbing out. And the bait on the grab. Faze with, Faze with the schmoof, man. I think we might have actually killed SJB in chat. Because SJB was like, that's my student right there. Let's go, oh. Charismatic. He was popping off so hard. Oh, I'm, no. I'm so sorry I played with your heart. This SJB, is actually the other way boy. around. My boy. Oh, <laughs> no. The punish though, that was nice from Charismatic, he's gonna confirm that, we're looking yeah. at damage. You know what, maybe what happens is just Charismatic Evil wins, no matter where his name is at. So, so let's see if he can, can make this comeback, 3-0 in favor of Fies, but Charismatic almost getting the first round immediately. So hey. Yeah, Charis Charismatic Dude. definitely working on that, that jab was beautiful on the grab, and he has a full stick of butter on his subs, so he's definitely looking at advantage right now. Face could potentially boost though, trying to bring it back. Alright, FaZe gets the hit, keeps the zone, he keeps up the pressure. And the boost coming in from Charismatic. The oh, raw annihilation! Ooh, that no is, fear! That is crazy, this is a big advantage for FaZe right now. Charismatic with no subs, any hit is gonna do it. And the charge attack? The charge attack is gonna seal the deal. No, he has no meter, but he has health advantage now. Oh, 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 Charismatic has to bring it maybe, back. Maybe? That's what we're fishing for, but... Never mind, this is not even going for a timeout. They were putting it all on the line. No meter on either side, they spent all they had. Yeah, they definitely wanted the W, both of them, but no. FaZe took it again, and he's looking at advantage right now, and the beautiful push block jab punish on the Annihilation, and that is gonna be good damage. Maybe ending in a collapse as well? Yes, sir, that's almost 60%. Okay, the combo conversion now from Charismatic, bringing it back. Trying to get back on top of this game, but it's Fize with a health lead and no reason to get in now. That's Takes crazy. some dashes, risks nothing, just safe dashes. Won the I still think Fize oh. is secretly charismatic. I think we got the name switch up. <laughs> <laughs> we see a man that pass if you go, oh, that's charismatic for sure. That is a misinput. Yeah, that is a misinput for sure, unfortunate. And right now, Fize going in. I mean, that guard was looking yellow, so who knows, maybe he's banking on the guard break, but no, it doesn't oh. seem going to come to that, he confirms that. The reset! It's good! Ooh. And he forces that escape from Charismatic. And gets the hit once again, forcing another escape, but the Disorder comes through and Charismatic gets back on the board. Isn't that crazy? Like, it's <laughs> always one hit that's a deciding factor right here. Yeah, and it's been decided in the favor of FaZe, unlike what we thought for most of the set. Uh, but now that things have been fixed, it's looking very bad for Charismatic. I mean, losing three games back to back, so close, so, so close, could have gone either way. And the guard break on uh, Charismatic about to go through, but it is FaZe's guard that gets broken first. He escapes yeah. it, Charismatic although has no, oh my goodness. Oh, oh my that goodness! Is crazy! Oh, the compass parry! The Yo, compass what? got parried! Shut up, Pierre! The compass got parried! Yo! Yo! What? Yo! Yo! Ah, no Yo. fucking way! Stop! Stop! Oh my goodness! Unfortunate, the collapse didn't fully connect, so it doesn't kill. I can't believe Fies did not kill Charismatic right then and there after that parry. That, but that hey. parry wasn't real. That, that parry was <laughs> fake. Some some very questionable stuff is happening right now. It's so rare to see that. It's so rare. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Confirm. Anti-air. He parried the disorder, up. says Night Demon. Night Demon says he parried the disorder. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>
That is crazy. <laughs> okay, let's see. We're playing the offense game, but no, the push block jab from Charismatic. He's gonna net him a combo right here. That's gonna be good damage. That's like almost 40%. Good stuff. And he's going on the offense. He is going at it. Okay, okay. the annihilation. And Fai's on, on match point right now. He wants to face Helia next. He wants to be the one. Oh, man, I'm so sad I don't get to commentate Ooh. that. Potentially another Kazumaro. I'm sad. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. And that is an ultimate. Is that enough? Press that 1 in chat if enough. that's enough. That has to be enough. Press I mean, 1 in chat up, quick but that has to be if enough. you think that's enough. Ah. Nah, I'm it up. is I'm not up. enough. I'm it up. is I'm not running. enough. The magic pixel, the plot armor from Charismatic, and he boosts. Boost, bro. Let's go. What are you doing? Let's go. Okay, 40 seconds on the clock. He got and he one still more has the surge. Yo, let's go. Let's go. We're going at the offense <laughs> and the grab. Let's go. And now let's with surge, he gets back. the health lead if he needs it. But he's not risking it. He escapes first. The surge is coming. He needs it, he needs it, he needs the health back. Oh, let's go, let's go, Charismatic, let's go, let's go, oh, let's go, let's go, what's up? Bad parry, we bad got parry. the projectiles, the disorders, we're going at it. We're taking the it W's, the legacy, the Akaza legacy. We are only going to the last round. It's the only thing that makes sense. It's the natural order of things. But right now, we've seen the Annihilation coming what? out again. Yo, and he has above. no bar. He has no bar to bring it back. That was such a big risk from Charismatic. But God, the escape coming wild, in from Fai, so no escapes on either side, no bar to regenerate it. Okay, and Fai's, okay. Fai's kind of starving for meter too. Boom! This is going to be damage. And they're beautiful. both going to build the first bar. Beautiful, beautiful confirm on that. Fai fire attack straight into Annihilation, that's going to be a full combo. And Charismatic chilling, but no, he gets clipped, push block gets jab. Clipped. And no bar to escape either. Fai's does not get the health lead back. Chooses to drop the combo and put himself in a more advantageous position, but didn't really pressure uh, Charismatic that much. Goes in for the throw, gets the health lead, and now uh -oh. forces Charismatic to boost first. Uh oh, I'm seeing see too close to two bars on phase. If he gets the two first, he can definitely force it, force the W. Oh, gets a hit! Oh, Faze waits, he waited for the second bar. And gets in again, and Charismatic is now going to try to build two bars before he boosts. But it he might be too late. So badly. He, it might he be too late. He needs to here. escape. He doesn't escape. He gets baited. Oh, oh, oh. What a bait from FaZe. It baits oh, the escape. Oh, that was crazy. FaZe takes it. BRZ Gaming 4-0 victory with a beautiful bait to close it out. It is time for Helia versus FaZe to decide who is going to challenge Night Demon. And that is one hell of a start for Helia. Going immediately for the reset, too, with a heal bash and a red guard on Fize. My god, this Helio wow. offense is relentless. But Fize finds the spot, punishes with the Sworder, and goes into his own full combo. Yeah, Fize is uh, he was getting under a lot of pressure there from Helio. Helio started off mad strong, and now they're just feeling each other out, trying to, you know, see who makes that mistake first. And that Ooh. mistake go. Oh my god, the parry happens because Helia push blocked. And another parry on Zenitsu yeah. that Akaza is building bar right now. Fies is hitting those parries. Oh my days. A lot of fake dashing going on. Can we get that punish? All right. We get to the Sworder and another heal bash going. Both players just utilizing their best neutral tools. The Sworder, heal bash, we're going to see a lot of those. Yeah, those Into claws always dive. be coming out as well. I like that dive attempt because that might have been just a, an escape bait to try and punish a, a flying kick, you know? Flying kick punishable if you escape it with the right timing. But instead of flying kick, he pretended to fly kick by doing a dive kick. Just jumping and dive kick. Dive. Yeah. These guys know some high level plays. Oof. Ooh! Grab that. just with there. That was crazy. Dude, and the tracking on Akaza's attacks was insane too. Seven seconds to go, and oh, Ooh. air claws completely whiff. And Fize is gonna take that first One round. Second. All right, here we go. Let's see if Helia can uh, take this round to Fize, because right now Fize is looking on top, just biding his time, keeping the space. That's Definitely very issue. strong Ooh. and gets the guard break. break. Optimal. Optimal. Here Let's go. Damage. Oh, love to see oh. it. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
into Look reset. Oh Sheesh. my days. That reset that was, was sick, was man, but the push block denied that grab from Zenny too. Yeah, that was some oh. insane tech by Hilia there. Can he finish? No. Oh, he baited the Let sub. Me. He tried to bait it. Yo, that was crazy. Nice grab. Fires is in one tap territory, but he does have two bars at his disposal. What a boost. That was insane. All right. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. The, the sword are coming through. Keeping that neutral space in. Oh, Ooh. catches the jump. The sword is such a good move, and you can see right here why. It doesn't just move forward. I have a huge hitbox. It catches jumping, too. Oh, no. Oh, he's caught him. No escape. He doesn't have enough to kill here. Unless... Oh. Oh, he the rare ult <laughs> from Akaza. Let's go. That was nice. Because uh, having a bar disadvantage against Slayers is not as big of a deal as uh, in a demon matchup. They can't heal. I mean, it's still hard to play against a Surge, but... Since they yeah. can't heal, you, you, don't, you, you don't have to be afraid of being timed out for having a health disadvantage. Yeah, so I, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer of just use the meter if you got it. Especially if it can win you the round. Okay, that was gonna hurt a lot, Ooh. but Helio did not stop pressing buttons and gets caught by Compass. Hasn't got too much meter here, just just gonna see a simple combo out. Yeah, and the hard knockdown to enable him, to give him enough time to build one bar back. Alright. And orange guard here. Helio is boosted, you gotta try and take advantage. Gets in. Here we go. Get as much damage as possible here. He has the escape, so Helio cannot kill here. Goes Ooh. for the throw again! Wow. Every throw from Helia has been wasted. Fize has been dodging all of them. Yeah. Go for another one. Hey, he's not standing still. Fies. He's just not standing still. Those throws are not going to connect. Ah, Ooh, so close. Yeah. It's tough. Oh my god, even oh. with a camera mix up, they didn't get it. And finally, Helia getting the hit. That is, is not going to be out? enough. Oh, Ooh. tries to jump away. Ooh. The compass was perfectly timed by Fize. So close great. to the 3-0 right now. Hilly is fighting for his life here. Eh? And there's 20 seconds left on the clock. Is he going to be able to see it out? Ooh, gets Ooh. the hit. Another escape. Oh, health yeah, health lead. And that clash was very important. Ooh. That wasted at least two seconds. But oh, that is no. not going to be enough. And Fiz is going to win this one by timeout. 3 0. Oh. Wow. Oh, right. Gonna... <laughs> Kaza versus Akaza. About to see some hype stuff right now. Projectile connects. We're and Helia gets the first hit. Yeah. First hit for Helia. The escape already used. Ooh. I like that delay from Helia. Maybe expecting something different from Fize during that combo route. Maybe a compass, maybe something else. But Fize kept it safe doing a disorder so he couldn't be punished after uh, that escape. Oh, wow. He caught in there. It's crazy. No escape for Helia. Fize is keeping it simple with a down combo. Okay. We go in. We get yeah, the hit, we, and there we, you go. We, we punish. That's what Helio was trying to do earlier, but this time it's Fize reversing the roles, calling out that. Uh, oh! oh! That was clutch from Fize. Everything Fize did there, crazy good. Yeah, even if he spent a bar, it was definitely worth it there. Yeah. And he started this round off just as strong. Fake okay. dashes seem to keep catching Hillier off guard. Hmm. And again. Ooh. No escape this time from Hillier. Yeah, and uh, the dash fake outs and a lot of guard damage being thrown out. Both players fishing for a Ooh. hit, and it's Fize that finds it. He has the bar to finish this. Wait. Ooh, he does. He's biding his time here. Uh oh. Still in a strong position. Definitely still in a strong position. I thought, thought for sure he could kill with just the demon bars there. Ooh. Raw disorder. Love and goes disorder. for a grab reset. Helia. Just like that, he's back in it. Yeah, especially with that boost. He does get hit, so that's going to deny some of that healing. And we're back to Nooch. He's still that, chasing the game there. Dude, the, these chases, they make me nervous because <laughs> this can happen at any time. Yep. But Helia wasn't... Uh, he didn't connect with... Uh, with a guard. Trying to buy this time here and, and hopefully he can get his surge off. That's what he's trying time. to do. Oh no, go. that's in the middle of the sorter. That's not going to go well. Oh my Ooh. god, yes it is. 
Straight for the parry. Oh no. Oh, goes for a second hey, compass playing. and he gets oh. he gets interrupted. It. Yeah. Yeah, nice. That surge into parry was very clutch from Hillier there. So clutch. Oh! Ooh. That's a punish, baby! <laughs> He read that completely and just jumped it. Sight? Just neutral jump <laughs> over the annihilation. That was nice. Right, they're just feeling each other out here. Eh? Somebody's just looking for that opening. Oh, his back was turned. Yeah, I don't know what the problem with annihilation is, guys. Just jump it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new tech. You've seen it here. Eh? Alright, good down combo All from right. Hilia. And back into neutral. Fives finds the hits. He's gonna optimize yeah. this so he can, with whatever he has, it can collapse right here. Yes, he does it. And he boosts to guarantee the round, even though here he has such go. a massive health lead. Yeah, it's not worth risking it when you're that far ahead and so close to seeing a round out. Hilia's fighting for his life now, hey? Let's see what he can do with this. Our projectiles. Got the bar advantage here, but Ooh, if he gets the hit, yeah, five is sliding. Oh, that it's was crazy. Helia. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, that was Helia. Oh. <laughs> that was Helia, man. Here we go. That slide, man. That second attack, it slides so far. All right, backs Insane off again route. with air types and tries to punish with his own air types, but Fies misses. And Helia oh, with a grab mix. Lovely grab. He's looking Lovely so one-sided this round for, for Helia, which is good because we all want to see more games. And he's going to escape that one. The dash cancel. Oh, he dashes too much. He gets caught by uh, Akaza's attacks. Helia's trying to see this Ooh. one out without using that bar, but... And that's a beautiful push block and a punish. Ooh. That's the start of something. Here we go. One combo is dead. Is Fire's going to boost? That, that's the crucial question here. Yeah, I wonder if he's just called this a lost round already, and he's trying to get Helia to spend yeah. bar instead, uh, so he can have right yeah, so he can have a, the advantage to go into the final round. Helia gets Ooh. the hit, Fies Ooh. escapes. Does he risk it? Does he not boost here? He's in one tap territory. Yeah, he doesn't care about this round anymore. He's straight up just saving nice. resources. He was trying to bait him into boosting, and and now they've got pretty much even bars. Yeah, it's completely even, and Fies is the first one to escape. That might mean that he's going to be the first one to boost as well, but first he's going to take this full combo as his air type gets interrupted by Helia's Disorder. That was nice damage, half health. All right. The bars are pretty much even. If Helia plays his cards right, he can probably see this out. Oh, good slide there. The he dash in. The damage. Gets oh, in once again, and wow. the throw reset is not good. And Fies gets punished for it with a couple of air types. That is before he blocks, so that's not a punish yet. Oh, he still he's gets still the hit. hit. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> he still got hit, even though he was... He could have blocked it. Oh, that Search is a punish, third. too. Yeah, he's, he's gonna, gonna force that escape. That. Yep. He's gonna force that escape. Because guess what? He wants to play the Surge without Fies having any escapes. That's what he wants to do. Oh, the push! Oh, he punished wow. Helia while in surge! That's crazy. The balls on this man, but the guard is looking very Ooh. red, and he tried to end the air, but Fies yeah. landed and takes the game 2-0! Trying to keep it in All close right. quarters there. See if this uh, puts Helia in any sort of favorable position. But right now, it is not looking good. He's got no escape, and he's just eating this combo. Yeah, Fies can also play the close range game for sure. Ooh, that's twice. I don't oh, think no. he's faced by this at all. Fies is like, I can play on this small stage if you want, bro. I got you. And the zoning begins. Helios tries to catch him with his sword. A good jump out by Fies. The dash clashes. Oh, Beautiful. Lovely. The mind games were strong there, <laughs> and he's gonna just wait for the bar to refill. Oh, no! After compass, <laughs> it just takes longer for some reason. Chickened out a little bit there. He had to. Fies was about to wake up and mash. Here we go. Okay. Ooh, great parry. Oh, Fies that's a punish. Yeah. I don't think he had a meter. 
see what Helia can do here. And so far goes for the throw and great dodge by Fize and the escape from Helia. Fize knew it. Is there a grab? No, that's a, a mash. Good block there. Oh, he tried to parry and that Ooh. is going to cost him. That was another perfect round from Fize. The stage switch definitely not working in Helia's favor. And Fize, as may I remind you, already took down Charismatic Evil 4-0 and is working on another perfect against Helia. He really, really <laughs> wants this title today. Okay, oh let's go! <laughs> let's go! Guys Who's gonna flinch from... first? None of them. <laughs> they both ran away. <laughs> Choreographed parries right there from the French team. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Yeah, Fize is not phased by this stage and it's just eating into Helia's life right now. Oh, good punish by Helia. So ready for for that air type to end and go straight into buttons. Nice Boom. damage. Very nice damage there. Helia just wants to get uh -oh. a, a notch on a board, but that whiffed grab has uh, cost him. Oh, no. Too far. Miscalculated okay. the distance. He gets the hit Pressing here and flies. has to escape. <gasps> He's one tap. I was about to say, why, why is he not escaping? Wait. Yeah. He's, he's almost through it. it. Faiz is playing with fire. Need an almost perfect round from Hilia here. Because Faiz has the meter advantage. Ooh, that was nice. Alright, and here we go. Another boost. And this time the hit connects. He's going to spend all he has and then go into surge. Yeah, that's the only way right now. Just yeah, see this out. Helia could not escape that, so he took as much damage as he could, and like, even if you boost right now, Helia, he's got to Surge to counter that. Yeah. So Fyz is... does not care about spending meter right now. Goes into Surge, and now Helia is on survival mode. His defense needs to be airtight here, if he has a chance of oh, trying to get... Oh, the... it was wow. too far! And he oh, goes for another compass! Wow. The escape happens! Fyz is bullying Heliasta right now. This okay, Helia gets back in. Healy gets back in. Hang on. Okay. He's got two bars. He's still in this. He built the surge bar. He was risking it. He has to. He's so far behind that he has to spend both bars right here. Ooh. One hit. And good patience on Healy. Not escaping first, but then gets caught by the disorder. And now it's uh, Fizer's turn to survive this surge right here. And he might take enough chip damage to lose the health lead too. Goes. Oh my food. goodness! Wow, that is brave. Challenged him on surge head on with a heavy. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, the dodges, my gets the hit. oh my goodness! This is so close, but Fies with an even yeah. bigger lead and gets the kill with those air types. 3 0. -oh. We're about to see something special here. Hilly is not out of options just yet. Let's see some Sasamaru gameplay. We know All if played right, Asamaru right, can take an Akaza head on. Yeah, it is, it is a very even matchup, so. It comes Ooh. down to player skill 100%. Yeah. We might see something special here from Hilia. Oh, so the far. raw. Ooh. The raw piercing kick. Fi is just expecting it and punishing it perfectly yeah. into collapse. Big damage. Fi is in a driving seat here. Ooh. Good grab. Might take, take a while for Hilia to adjust to the uh, Sasamaru playstyle again. But it needs to be perfect. Ow, oh, again. Throwing in those piercing kicks, getting punished. Alright, and the escape happens. I'm sure Hilia does not want to spend the meter yet, but he's so out of resources. Tries to go for a throw and not spending the meter just cost him the round. <laughs> we need to see something right now, Hilia. Yeah, it's not looking good. Show us what you got. Gets in. The okay. grab. Up go. you go. Get kicked. Very satisfying that grab. Better zoning Ooh. than Akaza. Oh, double parry. Let's go. Feels good, doesn't it? To have that available. <laughs> I'll guess the hit, but doesn't confirm. Trying to find that one opening. Ooh. And he's... Walking into a flurry of punches here. Optimization station from Fize. That is mad mm. damage. 
Helia is trying, but it's looking like a scramble here. Eh? Might have just okay. been a rogue pick. Yeah, the zoning is actually working a lot better for Akaza than Susamaru. <laughs> Helia is trying to get in. He's trying to play Susamaru as a melee character. He's just not getting that space. Oh, punish. And what's the punish? Nothing. He just runs away. <laughs> he didn't even force the sub. Wait, okay. There it is, oh. and the, oh, the boost gets punished. He escapes right away again, and that's round. It's it's not looking good for him right now. Yeah, and he hasn't lost a single game yet in this entire event, and he's looking right now at match point against Helia for that final spot to challenge Night Demon. He wants the run back with Night Demon. I think that's what's motivating him right now. He wants that run back. And to take the prize pool, obviously. Oh, obviously. It's the biggest <laughs> one we've ever had in any Demon Slayer competition. $1,000 on the line. Yeah, that's crazy. That, that's, that's enough to motivate anybody. Except for Heliasta. <laughs> <laughs> but let's get it. Okay, gets in. Ooh, big punches. Ooh. Oh, he's trying to finish it. He ain't Definitely. got enough. Are we going to see a Oh. Charges Ooh. the heavy attack, dodges, but then gets caught by the projectiles. Healy is still at a big disadvantage here. And Faiz might be paying homage to his mentor, his training yeah. partner. I don't see him taking the offensive here. He is playing as passive as you can. Exploring the map. He's showing us the <laughs> news. <laughs> of the map. <laughs> Have you seen this tree? Let's see it up close. See this tree up close. He does what? not have the health lead anymore. If he's going for the timeout, he's going to lose it. Actually gets... Oh, my oh, God! Oh, I knew it. The he ult. was fishing for it. I knew it. Was that another it. sub bait? Was that another escape bait by Fiz? That was crazy. I don't know if that Helia machine gun flurry from Susamaru was what he wanted to do. It might have been another oh bait, but God. Fiz is cooking right now. He wants that top spot. Well, he definitely got that top spot. He is going to be the one to challenge Night Demon up next. This is the first game. It's starting up. This is it, it is starting up. First to five, Night Demon versus Fies. And we're going. Beautiful grab off start. Gotta love it. Health lead already. Bang. Yeah, and the zoning coming in from uh, Night Demon. The first stage is random. And we got Entertainment District, which is a very good map for zoning. And the zoning advantage here goes for Susamaru in this matchup. That's not always the case. Mm. Akaza is also a very good zoner, but only in certain matchups. In this one, Akaza kind of wants to get in closer where he has more tools to deal with Susamaru. Uh, and uh, Ooh, that so that's... Block punish. Oh. He can't oh. keep doing that. Now, Faiz has got those locked down and on point and goes for the strong attack. The parry coming Ooh. through, but he fakes it. But Faiz's guard is bleeding. It's looking very red. The man is scared to block right now. And Night Demon is going to take advantage of that. Night Demon playing around with that bar. Trying to get it popping. Letting them so bars refill. Ooh, we had to confirm. Didn't believe. Did not believe indeed. And there is a slight advantage for Faiz as far as health goes. But the guard is once again red. What a punish! He dodges out of that piercing kick, punishes it with the disorder. He still has an escape. He has oh to use it right God, here. Oh my God, he converted that? Is that new? Like, people do that? <laughs> people do that. I, I think Night Demon is the one that figured it out. That was a clutch win by Fives right there. It was looking real dark. It could have gone both ways. Oof. Good dodge. No tilt skills for you, Susamaru. Another one and the piercing kick. Push blocked after dodging the projectiles. Fies push blocks as soon as he lands and Whoa, lands that punish that perfectly. The wall messed up that grab. It was a little wonky. It is what it is. Arena fighters, we have to deal with the stage. <laughs> and these players are no stranger to it. Oh, nice off the parry. I like how like their moves are kind of it's like rock paper scissors like he throws a, a air type he does a tilt um you know he spam balls he do annihilation like it, I, I like how this matchup is you think they're gonna lot of these their mains like you think this is gonna be a 
Uh, no, I don't think so. Depends on how this goes. Uh, I think both of them have very good counter picks for uh, for whatever the other player picks, and that's why before this match even started, and I didn't tell you guys that they wanted to blind pick. Uh, they ended up blind picking what we expected, which was Susamaru and Akaza. But the thing is, if they saw an Akaza get picked, I bet that we would see Night Demon pick uh, Zanny too, because he he really likes to play that matchup that way. And Fize also has some very good counter picks. Uh, to go up against Susamaru. I think Entertainment District Zenitsu and Tengen is his, pr pr uh, his favorite one. So I think we are definitely going to see some Slayers in this uh, in this main card. You know, it's... Ooh, uh, beautiful it, 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 even if it's just for some variety's sake, it's, it's always good to see. But these are definitely the two strongest characters in the game right now. Uh, and this matchup, I really think it comes down to player skill. I think this matchup is a 5-5. Five to five. And that is a very quick combo from Fize dealing a ton of damage. But that guard is red and he's gonna boost. Get that Susamaru away from me. I don't want my guard broken. Definitely not like want that with that health lead he got right now. Definitely played a little bit safe. Forces the escape on Night Demon again. And Night Demon trying to not spend bars so he can go into the next round with a health lead. And Fi's playing a very different game, a very different game plan right now. Spending all he has to confirm Ooh, the round. And there that it is. was dirty. Exactly. Yeah, just guaranteed guard break or hit. Okay. I do got them two bars, about to get three. Yeah, and that's, that's the game that Night Demon was playing. He was saving bar, trying to get an advantage over Fize right here, but cost him the round. We'll see if that's a good decision or not. He's playing the long game. It is a, a marathon, not a race, baby. Exactly. It's a best of five rounds. Ooh, that confirmed. Gonna waste a lot of time. Get some of his meter back. And get another bar. Yeah, and now Fai's not so worried about his bar disadvantage because he does have the surge if he needs it. And he boosts immediately, doesn't get punished for it. And what a conversion. Ooh. Forces Fai's to escape there. And he's going to tank that damage. Ah, oh. Fai's <laughs> does that a lot just to prevent <laughs> anything worse from happening. But he did not keep a close enough eye on that health bar. And that cost him the round right there. But now we go into the final one. And the bar is about even. So that big advantage that Night Demon was building, uh, is it's now even. And he has to win this, because he was playing the long game. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, he cast all the way out for that. Yeah, it has a boost. He's about to get a surge. Oh, so he got to stop doing yeah. that. That's well, he's over. he's got a surge now. It's over. Yeah, yeah it's over. That's Oof. ult. Don't even need to surge. Why surge when you have ult? Fize is... One of the best players at realizing, yo, I'm playing demons, but I should actually ult here. <laughs> Not everyone does it. Okay, straight into a rematch. I We just heard the song. Next, thanks. <laughs> okay, the, the throw. Those, Shimmy. Two, those uh, three rounds he won, I think two of those was kind of like blowout. You know what I mean? He is a master of clutch. I'll say that. And if you were here for the set against Charismatic, my god, every single match was so close. Every single one, up to round five. Yeah, I thought Charismatic was winning. Yeah, everyone I was did. In My, myself included. We were all in a Genjutsu. <laughs> it's part of the lore now. That's the final wanted Genjutsu. Oof. Ooh, another confirm off the dash. The dash is just so fast with this Akaza. Is he dead? He's dead. He's dead. Oh, optimized. That optimization from Fai's right there. He saw the kill. He's like, let's get it. Okay, the Shimi. Dodge the zoning. Wait for that piercing kick. Try to punish. Didn't get it this time. And Night Demon still trying to find the opening. I'm surprised Night Demon didn't try to counterpick as soon as he lost. Uh, but you don't want to be on the back foot when counterpicking, I guess. Oh, the parry does not bite. Does not go for it. Oh, so yeah. And to be fair, he had a... Uh... He lost by one round, so. But uh, he's looking like a little spanking right now. That is just that piercing kick. He can't do it for free, so you really got to switch it up here. Yeah, when you're a top level player, one of the things you got to do because you're gonna find so many Susamaru's in in your path in tournaments and stuff. 
one of the things you gotta practice is punishing that piercing kick by push blocking, tilting your stick, and pressing the attack button. It's a very specific timing, and my god, he's just blocking there, and no fear oh, of a throw. Ooh, that kick. And Fize does it so consistently, and what that does is basically, it denies you a button if you're Susamaru. You just don't have that button, or you can't use it so sparingly. So you kind of just lose a way to get in on your opponent. Goes for a parry there. This time, Fize doesn't try to punish. Okay. Oh, so I do like, uh, oh, after the piercing kick, he push blocks. Uh, can he parry? It looked like he parried there that one time, but it just yeah. didn't connect that time. The, the timing is very tight. You can punish it. Oh, oh. That yeah, was do that crazy. Uh, yeah, so after you push block a piercing kick, the window is very tight, but you can punish it. You you can hit a button before Susamaru is able to do anything. But if you are one frame off, she can actually block or parry. And that's scary. Yeah, which is why a lot of people at, this, at the higher levels, sometimes they push block and they go for a throw because they're expecting the parry. So that's a mix. That's as much of a mix for Susamaru as it is for the opponent. Beautiful okay, not contest. a lot of damage here. No, it goes for a reset. Oh. He gets it! Punishes the parry! Punishing a Susamaru parry is so hard because the recovery is lower than every other character in the game. And he cashes out. Is he going for the 3 stock here? He's going for the 3 uh. stock. He has the surge. He knows that he's going to have to survive a Susamaru surge too. But he doesn't care. He's keeping up the pressure. Spending it all. I didn't even get Ooh. Wow, where did that ball go? Did it just like disappear in the abyss? What the hell? And here we go. 2-0 for FaZe, who has not lost a single game in this event yet. 4-0 Charismatic. 4-0 Heliasser. He's speedrunning the final wanted. Who is this guy? <laughs> Charismatic Eagle like Sparting this? Partner. Started from the bottom. Practiced like crazy against the best player in the world at the time, Charismatic Evil. And now has surpassed the master. Charismatic Evil in chat saying, Fize is invincible right now. Ooh, punish. Didn't do too much off that because of the escape. Okay, okay, chat. Oh, for, that for parry. I thought that was going to hit. For Ho was not intentional, okay? English is my second language. Do not give me shit for four ho. That is that's not cool. That's not cool. Bullies. Anyway, guard break about to happen. And Night Demon knows it, so he's gonna keep up the pressure. And Fi's trying to keep his distance. Yeah, his guard must have recovered enough now. I would argue that Night Demon's guard is looking redder than Fi's, but Night Demon finds the hit and this is gonna be some damage. A red nice combo, yeah. Bit. Nice little bit of damage, and he still has a boost to play with. Or old, I don't know what he does here. I don't know what the root is. Okay, he drops it. Okay. Yeah, it goes for a reset Ten attempt seconds left, He has a boost. Mm. Can't get grabbed here. A grab would be devastating right now. Oh, some tilt skills to seal the deal. Get a timeout from Night Demon. Oh, beautiful. Not wasting the bar right there. That is nice. Oh, yeah, that's why he picked this map, baby. He knew what he was doing. Exactly. And now he has this tool at his disposal. Something that was a bit harder to do before. Entertainment District is not a small stage, though. It's just Correct. square. <laughs> oh, he got to stop kicking. That kick no. is going to be the death of him. You try to keep it unpredictable. You try to throw it here and there so, like, Fize isn't ready to punish it. But you never know. Yeah, did you see the read on that boot? Oh my god, this is gonna hurt. Whoa! Yeah, if I staying on the ground, Indeed. trying to waste as much search time as possible. He stays there and, okay, push blocks, but that's the final, the end of the search, so he couldn't find the punish there. Damn, Night Demon built that advantage the first round and just lost it. Well, if he gets a couple of hits, he gets the health lead back and he gets the hit right now. Fize is gonna escape. He wants to keep the health lead. Tries to punish the piercing nice kick, block. but too late. Ooh. Ooh, beautiful boost right there. He was about to get hit in the face, so that boost was really his only option. 
Boom, punish. Oh no. Oh, Ooh, annihilation. I'm not stopping. Insane. I'm does not that kill? Lie. It does. Yeah. Wow. Are we back to even on bar, basically? On meter, sorry, excuse me. Even on bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bar, meter, rounds, everything's equal <laughs> right now. Except Fize is winning 2 0. Great parry there. Makes him use his escape. Fize lands the throw, gets the health lead. But the escape is still gone, so this could turn around at any moment. But Fize is staggering his pressure really well. Oh, that's a reset. Oh, reset grab. Ugh. That's such a tight window to get out of. Yeah, really Ooh. hard to get out of, especially because Susamaru uh, can just kind of do it and not care about it because it, it either resets or it combos, right? Yep. Of course you want it to reset because that's going to deal more damage. He lets go oh of the button goodness, and gets hit. That hurts. It's a red combo still, so you can keep read. the combo going for too long. Yeah, beautiful. Don't see Fies letting go oh. of that heavy button too often, but that's a beautiful parry. Gonna force that escape, and does Fies spend the meter right now? That's gonna put oh, him at a dope. meter disadvantage, but he's not even gonna get the chance to. Good job not escaping that. You know, when he started the air type combos, is a, a lot weaker than uh, any other starter yet. We got the character knowledge from these two for sure. Winner of this match takes home $800. 800 is nice. This has got to be one of the biggest arena fighter prize pools ever. It's no, it's no Storm Four that Q took home, but it's, you know. How much did you take home? Cloud, what are you talking about? How much did you take home? Oh, uh, they gave me two point five k, unfortunately. Two point five k. Yeah, the rest was for the rest of the competitors, right? Yeah, uh, second and third, they they got paid well. Nice. One point five and then one. Got paid really well. All right. That's my target okay. to beat is this next death? year. Is this death? Oh, close. Oh, so close. Very, very, very close there. Oh, and that, they trade. Yep. Okay. I wonder if Night Demon is going to get three bars here. He could, but he also doesn't need it. Ooh. He's getting the hits here. It's all about building that bar now. Fize does not want to boost until he gets the second bar, and he makes Susamaru escape, so Night Demon thinking about boosting right now to get that escape back. Otherwise, this could be ugly. Ooh, oh, I don't he's going to use he that meter for. first, though. <laughs> Definitely going to use that meter first. Yeah, did not build the third bar, so Fize does not have to worry about an ultimate during search. Goes for a grab. Oh, that's a punish. Punish. oh that was not a punish. He, he just didn't block. He tried to run away. Fies choosing wrong there. Panicking nice. after looking the grab the grab. Didn't surge there. Oh yeah, he's, that he's is smart. Get now. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah. He knew he was close, so he let the boost run out and save the that's surge a lot building of for damage. later. Jesus. Yeah, but that's gonna be a lot of healing too, Q. Okay. You if know, Night Demon survives like this, a... if Night Demon survives this, he's in such a good position. Okay. Yeah, the surge is gonna outlast uh, Akazas for sure. He's trying to zo out zone her. Yeah, Takes... he's gonna hurt way more than him. Yep. Uh, oh, stays on the ground. That's the end that. of surge. That's the end of surge. They survive each other's surge, and I believe well, Fize comes left. out of it. Yeah, Fize comes well, out of it left. with a health lead. Ooh. I don't know if he lost it there. I don't know if he lost it there. Didi, I. The chip the damage coming through. Ooh, time's up and it's Fizes oh. round. <laughs> hey, let's get it popping. Yeah. Same team, same, same map. That was pretty close. Yeah, straight into a rematch. Straight into a rematch, and the sorter comes through, cancels into a throw. That mix still works. It's still so deadly. Tries the push block punish. He's a bit too late, so someone is able to block that. Oh, Annihilation also blocked. Good reactions there from Night, from Night Demon. Ooh, the piercing Ooh. kick hit. He was on his side. <laughs> his guard's still on red. Uh, Fi's guard's still on red. It, well, might, it might have, have recovered a now. little. Yeah, it might have recovered a little bit. So Night Demon not going for a reset uh, guard break anymore. 
jumps out oh, of the throw. Beautiful. That is oh not God, a conversion. Reset. That's a reset. Fives needs to start holding that block button. Gets the hit. Night Demon choosing not to escape here. Goes for a parry, Damn. gets thrown. And even on health again. Both players with an escape. Escape used on Fize's side. And he boosts. Okay, this is big. If Night Demon plays a long game again, he's not going to boost. He's going to hold on to that bar even if he loses a round. He gets the hit though. Fize not escaping yet. He knows this is not big damage. Just need a little bit more pokes by Night Demon and he can win this round. Punish. Oh my god, he keeps kicking. Uh, oh, I tried he... to bait the escape, but Night Demon being patient. And oh, there it is. Boost, boost. Yeah, that was an escape oh. bait right there. Yeah, here's the thing. The escape baits don't work as well on Susamaru because she's going to do that. The Tilt Demon skill. And she's just, just going to get out of it unless you time it perfectly. So it's a bit harder to bait, uh, to bait that stuff on Susamaru. That's a big win for Night Demon. He didn't spend a bar. He has meter uh, advantage right now. And guess what? He's also a round up. Let's see what he can do with this, man. Lots of clashes. The mind games are being played. The push block and the punish from Fize. And the surge. That's a red guard on Fize. He needs to boost to survive this. Okay, oh, he that's does. that's bad. That's yeah, bad. Yeah, dead. That's bad. Is that death? Dead. Oh my god. <laughs> that Kickstarter on, <laughs> kick on surge is crazy. Uh, attack piercing kick. Attack piercing kick. That's all it takes. The air types come through. 2-0 for Night Demon. Fize has not been losing this hard ever in this competition yet. Still has some comeback potential with those uh those meters right there, those little two meters and this big health lead he got right now. Definitely, yeah. He got the meter advantage back, but at what cost? Two rounds <laughs> down is 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 not insignificant. Gets the hit. The escape is going to come in for Night Demon here, so he cannot finish this combo. And he knows it, so he doesn't spend the bars. Gets another punish. And the bait. One more bar before that round's over. I don't know. And Maybe look, he's playing a long game. I don't know. Let's yeah, and Night Demon's going to build a surge in this round. And Fize can feel good about spending a boost, at least. Because he can build it back up. Three bars on deck. Ooh, Second parry in a row. No escape this time. This is going to hurt. Night Demon, optimization. Let's see it. E. Huh. All right. He just uses his regular meter. Does not want to spend his demon bars. He wants to keep that advantage for as long as possible. The raw dash goes uncontested. And that is a great punish. Once again from Fize. Night Demon choosing not to escape this. Not a lot. Not a lot of damage. All punished. Oh, you gotta, you gotta escape this one. <laughs> yeah, this one is death. Fize using two bars in this round to get a second win, and now Night Demon has three of them. But he's not gonna get to use them this round. Fize closes it out. Yeah, this is just free, free, free on paper. Let's on leave. paper, on paper. We've seen Fize surviving some Susamaru surges, but. Night Demon Search with Susamaru might be the scariest one in the entire world. Ooh, oh, mixed. beautiful grab right there. I got mixed. I got hit. I definitely got grabbed too. The tilt skills. It spends it all to boost. And trying to zone. Just trying to land a hit. Trying to make him spend that escape before using the surge. Okay, gets the hit. No escape now. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Doesn't get the second hit of the collapse. And that was almost a punish from Night Demon. He's going to tank it. He doesn't want to block it. Doesn't want damage to his guard. He knows he can heal it back up. He's getting meter as he's tanking those hits. And his guard is not going redder. Which is something you kind of need to survive a Susamaru Surge. You can't have a red guard. Is he going to Surge here? Okay, he's gonna beautiful. Surge here. Let's and Akaza, now. Akaza's gonna get his escape bar back. He's gonna survive this surge, no problem. Gets the guard broken, escapes, boosts and soon. He has a surge. Oh man. Yeah, and now he has he surge. He has to play the away game now, like bad. I want to use too much meter here. Mm. He needs those throwing uh, 
Oh, Fies no. gets in. I will not take this. This is a lot of damage. Ooh. Oh my god, he has Hello. No oh, gets the hit. Jeez. Fies wins this. What a comeback. The reverse 3 0. Oh, I did not see this coming. Not going to lie. Not at all. I did not see that. I, I thought a Zenitsu would come out, maybe, but. Night Demon Akaza. It's a pretty good Akaza. He's no Fies. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. His experience fighting this mirror, for sure, is not as big as Fies' experience. Look at that. Because Fies grew up in Demon Slayer, learning this mirror. Practicing against Charismatic Evil, over and over again. This is probably the matchup that he's played the most. It's an odd decision, but we'll see if this gamble pays out. Night Demon had to do something. He was down 4-0. Something had to change. Big damage. The push, another push, and Fies just patient. And the bad thing about this, right, is he has to stick with Akaza the whole way through, huh? Exactly. And Fies knows how to kill Akaza. If it's not with a mirror, he might have other methods. So it's looking very good for Fies right now to take the whole thing. But Night Demon's not out yet. And this final gamble might be just what saves him. That uh, heavy, hmm. Beautiful, strong attack. When uh, ever a demon heavies in Europe, we call him an infiltrated American. He's oh, an American geez. in disguise. It's not as frequent over here as it is in North America to see demons doing strong attacks. Hello? Optimal. Oh, no. Oh, well. Optimal if you had bar. No bar. <laughs> <laughs> No compass to anti-air there. He has no meter to do it. And the mix-up with the Annihilation, but Fai's not falling for it. Wishimi. We do a little dash dance. And the punish. Straight into mm. Collapse. He knew that bar was coming. The escape on Night Demon was about to return. So he immediately collapses to get max damage. He just needed a little bit. So he got it, and he got it fast. Just jump it. <laughs> Just jump the Just annihilation, jump it, bro. <laughs> I hope your toes don't get clipped. All right, it's a battle of projectiles right now. Both players trying to zone and gets the hit on Fives. That's a very important hit. It's gonna burn most of his boost time. Does he surge? I don't think he has to. He does not. Yeah, let it rock out. Yeah, gets the hit again. Escaping pretty fast on that one Night Demon. Because he does not want to lose that health lead by that much. And Fi is going for a reset attempt. Alright, the push block. The punish. And that Ooh, is a punish. This is a good punish right here. And he just spent the Annihilation. So he does not have the meter to escape. This is death. Night Demon gets a second round. Beautifully done. Maybe the counter pick was the play, but you see Night Demon no longer playing the long game as he was with uh, Susamaru. Meter advantage definitely on Fiza's side now. Feeling a lot more comfortable in this round specifically. He can even spend a boost and still build it back for round five. And he has such a big health lead here. They might not even have to. Another punish. Ooh, does, can he finish it? He has no meter. Is that enough? Into the final round. Tournament point with three bars. Is this it? Can Night Demon survive it? We'll see. Still hasn't dropped a single game in the entire show. Yeah, I don't want to sound like a hater, but I definitely want to see an upset right now. That'd mm. be real nice. I've only been commentating for 10 minutes. So. <laughs> That's a very good start right there. Night Demon getting the health lead, but that is just only a temporary health lead, as there's a lot of bar on Faiza's side. Akai Satsu negated the health lead immediately. Oh, oh gets the throw too, but Night Demon has built the surge bar. He has to escape this one. He has to find the space to boost. Faiz cannot bait it. He has to do it again. Oh, he's gonna have to surge. 
before Feist does it, Feist doesn't even uh, surge. He lets it drop because he has more bars to deal with. Feist is now going to try to survive this surge phase and surge afterwards to close out oh the set. Oh my goodness. He just contested. He just contested an Akaza while in surge. That's what he yeah, just did. He doesn't care. He... Oh, oh. That was beautiful. Forcing Feist to escape twice nice. in a row. He immediately surges. And what now? Oh, nah, and that's that. how it ends. Ladies and gentlemen, Fies is your final wanted champion. Thank you all for making it this far. Wow, this is this is a long video. 2022 was the biggest year for Demon Slayer tournaments, and it only felt right to close it with a big one. And I believe it's time to say goodbye to Demon Slayer. The competitive server will always have minor tournaments, but it's inevitable. Eventually, they'll also wither and die off too. I'll make a proper video saying farewell to Demon Slayer soon, but for now, I just want to say thank you to all the players, the commentators, and of course, to everyone who contributed to this prize pool. I put 500 bucks initially, but these guys carried it all the way to over a thousand. And if you've made it this far, you probably like big anime tournaments, so I suggest you watch this one that I did for Once Justice 2. It's a big tournament for when that game was dying out, similar to this one, just on a different game. It was a fun time, make sure to check it out. Boy!